Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and welcome to 15 Minutes of Game. Today, we're going to be having a little look at a game by the name of Base Blocks, which just came out, and is supposedly, according to Steam, a top-down RPG shooter featuring procedurally generated open worlds and interactive music. All right, then. What I will tell you, I usually don't discuss options on the 15 Minutes of Game show, but... Why can I not select 16x9 as a resolution? It's got a very weird resolution setup. I'll show you, actually. Let's go to graphics right now. It's like, all right, I've got 1600 by 900 right now. It's like, okay, so if I went to, uh... Yeah, it's in no particular order. 1920, okay, so I just need to pick 1080. Oh, wait, 1080 doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. You can have 1024. 960, 1200, but no 1080. There is no 1080p and no 720p. Which is really, really weird. I cannot imagine why you would do that. That is really strange, but there you go. Anyway, I don't usually look at that on this, so. It's got 15 minutes to impress, and it's time begins now. With a save slot. What is all this? All right. I did look at the... Let's just put it this way. The graphics are rather abstract. Okay, then. So this is how you move around, I guess. Do S and D. This is how you shoot. All right. So you go through here. What are these? Well, they're running away. This is following me. Am I supposed to kill it? No, it's helping me, I think. There's colors. I'll give it that. I don't know what else there is. Am I supp So I should... Okay, so I shouldn't be shooting those. So I guess these are friendly characters and those are enemies. All right. So it's pixels, pixels, and more pixels, and apparently you collect the pixels as they explode. I'm sort of waiting to get an idea of what they mean by interactive music, I suppose. If I stand still for a second. I'm not really getting much on that. Maybe it's on kills or something along those lines. I just don't really know what it means by interactive music. Just try to figure it out. All right, let's grab one of those. Another one. Okay, so that opened that somehow. I'm not really sure why. There seem to be pickups, but the game doesn't seem to have a, a UI of any description. What the hell is going on? I am really, really confused. What? I... Eh? <laughs> It's a selection of random colors. Something is happening here, but I can't for the life of me figure out what. You know, I, I want to look at the controls for this because that might give me a clue as to what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm just firing with the mouse. That's it. There's nothing else. Move and fire. Back key and escape for the menu. That's it. Okay, that didn't help me at all. It's like, uh, is there a help menu? Nope. Is there a tutorial? Nope. All uh, right then. So if I move that there and then go back, what happens? I couldn't for the life of me say, I assume these colors are bad and I should probably be staying away from them. I don't even know what this is that is following me. Is it benefiting me in, in any way? I, I couldn't tell you. What's this? I don't know. That It's colors. It's a selection of weird colors that just got eaten by the rest of the game. What is... I'm going to have to say that I'm all in favor of letting people explore and discover things on their own. But especially when you make a game completely abstract like this and make it look so very, very odd. So you can't even tell what anything really is. It's generally helpful to give you some idea of what's going on. It's like, all right, I get it. Kill those. I think collecting that is good. I haven't noticed any difference to my character, though whatsoever. Space also shoots or mouse button. It doesn't really seem to matter. And we've warped out again. And Okay. So that moves... I... This is incomprehensible. This is utterly incomprehensible. <laughs> There's no other information. Like, that's all the Steam page basically says for the most part. It doesn't really tell me what I'm supposed to do. There's no help file. There's no tutorial. All right, I seem to have improved my firepower somehow. Maybe by collecting more of those pixels. It's like, collect the colored things. All right, I get that. Going across the... 
what? Oh, so you can fall down that. Right, I had no idea. And now I'm in a new world, I think. What the hell? You know, I'm I'm waiting for this interactive music. I mean, it's called Bass Blocks. I was assuming maybe there would be an interesting soundtrack. If it's one of those games where you build the soundtrack over time, right now all I'm getting is a couple of pixel bloops. Maybe I have to get further in the game to get a soundtrack. It's just one of those situations where the game is so utterly abstract in its presentation that figuring out what exactly you're supposed to do is extremely difficult. Okay, so this is a maze, I assume, through some sort of mountain or something. I couldn't tell you. It could be an elephant. It could be a giraffe. It could be the Death Star. All right, then. So I guess I wasn't able to go through that because I got eaten by the colored thing. So how are that earth you're supposed to even get through that? So that starts spreading out pretty much immediately, and you absolutely have to stay out of the way of that. I get that. I'm only four minutes in, and I'm already thinking, like, what else is there to say about this? Because this game makes no damn sense! How exactly are you even supposed to talk coherently about it? These things teleport you except when they don't. Now it's pink. What, what if I shot it? Does that help? I mean, what if I pressed enter? Or back? No? no nothing? Alright. Um... Hmm... I'm gonna have another look at the Steam page. There's gotta be some kind of clue there as to what the hell... is going on. No, there's like a paragraph. Basically it says it's a top-down RPG shooter featuring procedurally generated open worlds and interactive music. I haven't got the interactive music yet. In classic, classic roguelike fashion, a new character and world awaits every death, but you can carry a fraction of your experience between each life to explore deeper into the ever-shifting and curious world. Ever-shifting indeed, but there's no UI. So I don't know how much experience I've got, how powerful my character is, how much of it carried over. I think like, the only visual indicator to that seems to be how many bullets I fire and what distance. But there's no way for me to really quantify that. Now that's dark for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of line of sight thing. Uh, I've played games that have this really abstract appearance before. Like Teleglitch, for instance. Why am I in this house now? I don't know. I, what is the benefit of doing what I'm just doing? I couldn't tell you. It, it just... I don't know. A teleglitch lo looks very abstract, but it still makes sense. It's obvious what you're doing. This, this is not obvious at all. At all. You know, there's no text, there's nothing written, there are no tutorials. I don't know what that is, I don't know what it does. And I suppose to some degree I can appreciate a little bit of that. But in this case, I'm like, just, just give me a pointer, give me something. It's not like it's straightforward other than shoot things and don't die. What's the rest of it? This is under here, and now the perspective has suddenly shifted for no apparent reason? That's very, very inexplicable. I think, am I under a mountain or a hill or something? I don't know. Half of my vision ob is obscured, so I could very easily get killed in one hit. I assume going... I would now warped again. Alright. Okay, so I seem to be collecting these things somehow. So they're like, kind of obelisks or idols or something along those lines. So what happens if I find five of them? Assuming I even can without dying. Okay, there's another one. All right. So I assume when I went to that, I collected it. And then when I cross another one of those, it's somehow a teleporter to some weird room or something. I now have this weird artifacting around. Oh yeah, that kills you. Oh God. Or oh, was it a teleporter? I don't know. Did I die? I can't, you know, other than the, the little sound of me falling, I don't know if I just died and restarted. Oh, what the hell? Now I'm definitely dead. And we'll start again. Um. Ha. Huh. What is there to say? At least with something like Bard's Gold, because everything makes sense and the mechanics are very straightforward and clear, I can start to talk about that and start to criticize it, maybe, and think about ways to improve it. With this, I'm like, the only way to improve it would be to tell me what the hell this game is. Seriously. The weird thing is that it's a genre that should be fairly self-explanatory. It's a top-down RPG shooter with roguelite elements. Okay, there's plenty of those. They're two a penny. 
but every aspect of it is completely obfuscated. You know, what is this? Why did I just teleport? I don't know why I just teleported. I thought it was, oh, one uh, half of those things with the blue around them is uh, idols that you collect, and the other are teleporters which take you to a room to place the idols. But I just did that out of nowhere there. I don't know what I stumbled across, because everything's so bloody abstract. You know, that puts a hole in the world for some reason, so you don't want to run into that because you'll die. This is a blue thing that now, for some reason, I can't cross, I assume because it's on a hill, maybe? And apparently I can't climb hills. Now I'm inside the hill. All right. Okay, then. And what is to be found in the hill? Nothing. All right, then. I could see down to the next level that I can't apparently access or something like that. Do I have to deliberately fall that way? Is that an enemy? Is that a pickup? <laughs> Just... Just something. I'm moving faster now. Oh, and I couldn't see that and died. I think this is going to be the first game where I just say there's nothing else to say. There's no point in me playing any more of it. I am just utterly confused. I'm going to check if this game has a manual. I teleported now again. Does this game have a manual? I mean, unlikely. If I go to Steam, no, there's no manual. And the forums have no posts in them. There is no way to figure out anything that's going on here. There's no help anywhere. All right, then. That's it. That's all I can say. It is. It's all I can say. What else is there to say about it? I was hoping maybe for some interesting soundtrack to enjoy, but it's just a bunch of bloops. <laughs> and I'm not getting the interactive component of it at all, other than maybe it speeds up when you're in danger or something like that. Nothing is obvious. Everything is abstract. Everything is obfuscated. Outside of the very basics, which is shoot and don't die, everything else makes no damn sense. I don't know what any of this means. Please, a tutorial, something, S hints, anything, signposts, a narrator, something, anything. All right, that's it. I I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give up early on this. I don't know what this is, and I can't figure it out. There you go. <laughs> Curious. But it's- it doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, it- This is way too abstract for me. I've- I've had enough. I've had enough. I collected another idol, I think? Uh, I don't know, maybe- let's- let's keep going and try and get a fifth one. Not that I have any idea of how to get them. It's like, am I dead or not dead? Like, I seem to be carrying idols over or something. And I why can I not pass- through this, now it's black and I'm stuck. Uh, Alright. I just don't know what anything is. Maybe when I find that fifth idol, something will be revealed. Maybe it's that. You know, maybe it's that I've got to do. And then it'll tell me what's going on. It's a little rite of passage, perhaps. There's a bunch of enemies over here. Where is the other idol? I just don't know. At least my spread shot is effectively killing all this stuff. No, I'm stuck in the corner now because that slight other shade of brown, you can't bypass it. Have I lost all my idols again? I think that's picking up one. Let's go and see if we can hand in the fifth one, maybe? Unless I lost them all again. Still going. Still going. It's like, if if stuff is unlocked several hours down the road, I think you're gonna... Okay, I, I think... I didn't even collect that. I don't even know what happened there. Where's that room that it randomly teleports me to? Is that it? Is that the button? No! It wasn't. There's more enemies now. Okay, let's go here. Doth oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, now we still have four for some reason. Even though I had four previously. Did I lose one on death? I don't know. Game doesn't tell me. Now all this is falling away. What is going on? The world is collapsing for some reason. There are enemies everywhere. I am confused and lost. I think I'm going to get cornered and die. Because the world has just vanished. Uh, I... What just... just... I don't understand! Now I can go... Uh, you figure it out. I can't. 
that's base blocks, I think. It could be frog fractions too. We just don't know. I give up. I'm going to bed. I'll see you next time.